You know, I try to make small talk, but <laughs> talking's not really my thing. No, really. Hey, so where you stand? White House in Manila Bay. Oh, really? Pretty good surfing there. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe. Boy, brown eyes really do me in. He's cute. Of course he's cute. He's a moron. Cute, undependable, and boring. How can you tell so fast? Because I've been through it a zillion times. I'm a moron magnet. A moron? At least you meet a new guy? So why do you keep going out with him? His geniuses all look like Woody Allen. I think Woody Allen's cute. Not as cute as a moron. Okay. Did it ever occur to you that the reason you change boyfriends about every other week? I don't believe it. What? The Uli Uli Hula Festival. It's this week. Oh, well, that, that sounds very exciting. We should all go. Go? You know, this is the Super Bowl of hula. Huh? huh? Great. Am I right? I don't know. I hate that stuff. Yeah, well, I used to enter this thing every summer. Oh, you must have looked really cute in a grass skirt. You ready? Oh, we're going. Everybody loves the the big blue And we throw our nets out into the sea. And oh yeah, we all become swimming to me. Oh, we're going to the hookie To the hookie 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 Stop here for a second. I want to take a look. Well, this is it. Huh. Bummer. So you folks are staying here? Uh, no, no, we own it. Go ahead and keep my tip. You'll need it. <laughs> well, it certainly has beautiful uh, trees. Uh, it's sure oh. different than Dad described it. It sure is. Heard in the day, lulled by the moonlight, have all passed away. You must be the wife. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Chuck Stutz. I'm the manager. We spoke on the phone. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. These are my daughters, Lisa, Megan, Jesse. Hi. 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 Well, one's fun, two will do, but three's for me. <laughs> Beautiful girls, Jeff. You must be very proud. Uh, yeah, I am. This is my uh, wife, Susan. A uh, big aloha to you. <laughs> uh, let's get you folks settled. <gasps> oh. oh, sorry. Frightened me. <laughs> I don't know. I feel sorry for Megan. Why? Well, she seems so lovely. Well, you know, I used to think that way, too, but now I'm convinced that um, she just likes to be alone sometimes. Still, I'd like to help her open up somehow. I don't know. Make more friends? Maybe even get a boyfriend. Oh, <laughs> oh by the way, I called the Hula Festival. They've agreed to squeeze me into the competition. Huh? Jeffrey, are you really going to do a dance? Oh, absolutely. You know, each dance tells a story, and I thought, well, I would take you and the girls, and I would dance the story of our family up to when we got married. Hmm? Oh, Jeffrey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. I don't believe it. You know, I carved those initials over 25 years ago. Hmm. Who's W.B.? Wendy. Uh, Birkenbeck. Oh. Pretty name. Mm. Maybe you want to dance me that story. Oh, yeah, all right. Let's see. Are you hoping to run into her again, maybe? It's my sole reason for returning to paradise. It is? Oh, sure. 
She still owes me 75 cents. <laughs> oh, miss, do you work here? Well, not exactly. How fortunate. I've caught your attention. My waitress seems to be otherwise engaged, no doubt working on a rocket fuel formula. I trust you're not similarly distracted? Well, I was just going you're to You're new here, aren't you? Well, no. See, well, we own it. I mean, my dad's stepmom, well, we inherited this. Ah, oh, yes, yes, you must be one of the Wyatts. Well, I'm Charlotte Brink, but you may call me Mrs. Brink. Now, today is Tuesday, and every Tuesday, as you will learn, I start with honeydew melon, sliced into four strips and lightly sprinkled with sugar. Sprinkled, mind you. And how can you hope to dazzle me with your waitressing skills if you don't write it down? Uh, well... Well, okay, um... Okay, um, that was melon? Melon, yes. With what again, honey? I can see already we're off to a rocky start. Fortunately, I'm famous for my patience. The place really needs to be stripped and dipped. The sea air's played havoc with the paint and varnish. It's so sad to see such a beautiful place in such a place. But the money it would take to even start turning it around. This is Kale. He works here for me part time. Hi. Hi. I think I finally got it fixed, Chuck. Great. Now, where was I? Well, the electric shot, and the plumbing's rusted, and a lot of the wood's rotting. Oh, yeah, but look what's still here. I mean, it's, it's a wonderful place. The quality of the craftsmanship. I mean, it, it just reeks of history. What kind of business have we been averaging, Chuck? Well, right now we've got a total of eight guests, but um, subtracting you and yours, that's an actual guest count of three. This is nothing like I remember. People used to wait for months to get into this place. What happened? Just built a new hotel down the beach, so you get an increase in competition with a resulting decrease in gross earnings, which leads to a total drying up in your key area of liquidity. In a nutshell, the dark side of capitalism. That looks more like the dark side of maintenance to me. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely sketch. My son's an artist, too. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get up. I'm Becky Harris, and uh, we're renting a house just up the beach. Oh, Susan Wyatt. Nice to meet you. My stepdaughter, Megan. Hi, Hi Megan. Hi. Hi. Yeah, Ted's just about your age. Yeah, he's very sweet. He's a little shy. It was hard for him to meet kids his own age. And he's an artist, too. Ah, uh, oh. Uh, well, Megan, maybe you'd like to... Sure, um, you could give me your number and I'll, and I'll call him. Oh, all right, all right. It's okay, it's just a sketch. There. <laughs> well, I hope to see you again. Sure. Bye-bye. Nice meeting you. Bye. Nice board. I have a feeling you took her number to stop him calling you, right? Well... But his mother said he was an artist, very sweet. Oh, what am I saying? When I was your age, I ran from mothers who said their sons were very sweet. It's just that I want you to have some fun while you're here. Are you, are you having fun? Really, Susan, I'm fine, I think. Because I, I really, I wouldn't feel happy going off to Australia if I thought you were going to be. I'm having fun. All right. Well, we'll all go out. Later, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 